Hello everyone. Welcome to another session of this KCET. In this session, we will be discussing five questions from 2009 question paper. Topic differentiation. So here is the question. If cube root of y into square root of x equals to sixth root of x plus y power 5u, then dy by dx is how much? I will rewrite it. Okay, you can write it according to your convenient. For your understanding, I am writing in detail. I can write it as x y power 1 by 3 into x power 1 by 2 equals to x plus y power 5 by 6 I write. If I raise both side by raise power by 6. What you will get? You will get y square x cube equals to x plus y power 5 we will get. Take log on both side. As you all know, if you take log on both side, for your understanding, I am writing in detail. Taking log on both side, you will get log m into log n that is log m plus log n and you will get it as 2 log y plus 3 log x equals to 5 log of x plus 5 y will get on taking log on both side. Now differentiate you are asked dy by dx differentiate with respect to x. So, 2 into derivative of log y is 1 by y, I can write 2 by y into dy by dx plus 3 into derivative of log x is 1 by x, I can write 3 by x. Similarly, derivative of log of x plus y is, it is 5 by x plus y but it is being composite either a derivative puna bariri x is derivative 1 nagate into dy by dx yes Ega we are interested in dy by dx so illa the dy by dx ide so adanna matte nan salpa simplify maartini clear agi understand agli anta 2y dy by dx plus 3 by x equals to this into this you will get 5 by x plus y plus this into this gives you 5 by x plus y into dy by dx. So dy by dx will determine what game are called So 2 by y dy by dx is there. So this is the same thing. So this is the same thing. So this minus 5 by x plus y avaga dy by dx common agutte ee kade 5 by x plus y minus 3 by x lcm thagol illi 2x plus 2y minus 5y divided by y into x plus y dy by dx equals to 5x illi lcm to gondre minus 3x minus 3y divided by x into x plus y yes eva gondi x plus y x plus y cancel agathe nima gain ulit te nodi illi 2x plus 2y minus 5y andre 2x minus 3y agathe by y into dy by dx equals to illi 5x minus 3x and 2x minus 3y divided by x. So, you have a yellow body 2x minus 3y there. So, 2x minus 3y, 2x minus 3y cancels dy by dx is y by x. 
so this is your correct answer and you can check your answer with a given option y by x so d is the option correct one yes let's move on to next question if x equals to a second square theta and y equal to a tan square theta then d square y by dx square is how much okay so as you all know first you calculate dy by dx and that is what dy by d theta by dx by d theta so derivative of y with respect to derivative of y with respect to theta derivative of this with respect to theta is a as it is derivative of tan square is 2 tan theta into derivative of tan is again second square theta this must be known to you similarly derivative of x with respect to theta a as it is derivative of second square is 2 sec theta and further derivative of sec is sec into tan sec into tan theta now clearly see here a a cancels 2 cancels sec square into this sec into sec it cancels and tan tan cancels so you left with only one this is your dy by dx so differentiate we want second derivative differentiate with respect to x clearly you can tell that d square y by dx square is derivative of 1 is 0 so option c is the correct one let's move on to next if f of x equals to sine inverse of 2 power x plus 1 by 1 plus 4 power x then f dash of 0 is looks to be complicated one but very simple see here those who knows they can do it directly i can write 2 power x plus 1 as 2 into 2 power x divided by 1 plus i can write like this this 4 power x can be written as 2 power x whole square why because see here 4 power x can be written as 2 square power x okay this 2 square is 4 4 power x again it can be written as this is a power m power n is a power m n so i i may write this in this form okay this is 2 into x 2x here also you will get 2x so 4 power x can be written as 2x whole square or 2 square power x so i have written like this now see here if you put this is of the form 2 x by 1 plus x square and we have done it by substituting tan theta so put 2 power x equals to tan theta because 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta is sine 2 theta it becomes yes now what you will get you will get sine inverse of 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta yes one can write directly immediately 2 tan inverse so this is sine inverse of this is sine 2 theta and which is equals to 2 theta and 2 into what is theta it is tan inverse of 2 power x look at this because theta tan, 2 power x is tan theta theta is tan inverse 2x yes so this is your y or f of x differentiate with respect to x see what we will get f dash x equals to 2 into derivative of tan inverse is 1 by 1 plus x square 
so 1 by square of this into further derivative of this because this is composite derivative of 2 power x is 2 power x into log 2 remember this yes now we want f dash of 0 okay so put x equal to 0 here so f dash of 0 is 2 by it's 1 plus 2 power 0 is 1 2 power 0 is 1 so 1 square is 1 you will get here 2 power 0 1 into log 2 you will get so this 2 1 plus 1 is 2 2 get cancels with this and you left with log 2 yes check your answer log 2 so option b is the correct one yes move on to next question yes interesting one if box x represents the greatest integer function then f of and f of x is x minus box x minus cos x then f dash of pi by 2 is how much see here this box x at this point whether it is differentiable or not as we know that this greatest integer function is not differentiable at integers it is differentiable at only non-integers okay so clearly if you look at the graph of this function i will show you for your understanding okay as you know that the graph of this greatest integer function is you know this i am writing only one step and pi by 2 is if you calculate you will get one point something okay so in radians pi by 2 is something here at this point say this is your pi by 2 pi by 2 means you can calculate 3.142 by 2 you will get 1.5 something okay so it is somewhere here at this point what is slope of this line it is parallel to x-axis means its slope is zero so derivative itself stands for slope of the line slope of the tangent you can say so slope of the tangent at this point to this curve is parallel to being x-axis it is zero so derivative of this at pi by 2 is 0. See here if I differentiate this f dash of x is derivative of x is 1 minus I can write it as a d by dx of box x at x equal to pi by 2 minus derivative of cos x is we know that sin minus sin x so it means sin x. Now as I told you derivative of box x at x equal to pi by 2 is 0 so now you can write f dash of x at pi by 2 so 1 minus 0 plus sin pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 so you can check your answer 2 so only thing is that you must know what is the differentiation of box x at pi by 2 yes let's move on to next here is the question if f of x equals to sin 3x by e power 2x minus 1 if x is not equal to 0 and it is k minus 2 if x equal to 0 is continuous at x equal to 0 then k is how much so as we know that if the function is continuous then limit of the function at that point is equal to value of the function at that point okay so here you must take it is continuous at x equal to 0 means limit x tends to 0 f of x must be equals to f of 0 here no question of left hand and right right hand limit because here's here you are given at x not equal to 0 f of x is this much means even for x less than 0 and even for x greater than 0 this is the case and when x equal to 0 this is given 
okay so in such case when x is not equal to 0 given then don't search for left hand and right hand limit yes now this is limit extends to 0 your f of x is it is sin 3x by e power 2x minus 1 and f of 0 is given the value of fx at k equal to 0 is your k minus 2 yes so this implies now see here one thing to be noted while evaluating limits if you substitute x equal to 0 here sin 0 is 0 and e power 0 is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so this takes the form 0 by 0 on direct substitution okay so whenever a limit takes 0 by 0 form we have l hospitals rule okay so by l hospitals rule just to note down it is not mentioned in your syllabus but it is very useful tool to evaluate limits so by l hospitals rule by l hospitals rule what l hospitals rule tells us is whenever limit takes of the form 0 by 0 by substitution or infinity by infinity then you have to differentiate numerator and denominator separately and then apply the limits okay so remember numerator and denominator separately differentiated so derivative of sin 3x is 3 cos 3x and derivative of e power 2x is 2 e power 2x that is known to us derivative of 1 is 0 on the other side k minus 2 as it is okay now you supply the limit okay now you directly substitute the limits again if it takes 0 by 0 for one more time differentiation numerator and denominator separately so if you substitute directly 0 here we know that cos 0 is 1 so the k then agate 3 agate e power 0 is 1 agate so 3 by 2 equals to k minus 2 barute so Idana k evaluate body k equals to 3 by 2 plus 2 agate. So this gives you it is 2 plus 2 into 2 4, 4 plus 3 is 7 by 2. Okay, so 7 by 2 is the right answer. This is all about today's session. So we will meet in the next session with few more examples. So till then, take care and bye bye.